Welcome to Budapest. I arrived to Budapest by train from Romania, where I spent some days in small towns. And here in Budapest I was really surprised to some extent and stunned in a good way because of beauty of the city and because it's so alive and diverse. In the first hours in the city I was just walking around getting new and beautiful impressions about the city. And I invite all of you to follow me on my journey. Some facts about Ungarn. Country has 10 million population in total. 2 million are in Budapest. Puskas, the most famous football player from 15th. The national team defeated the England team with a score 6-2-3. It was a match of the century in 1953. If you know this, be sure you are the best friend of all Hungarians. Margaret Bridge is a three-way bridge connecting Buda and Pest across the Danube and linking Margaret Island to the banks. It is the second northernmost and second oldest public bridge in Budapest with spectacular views from there. Margaret Island is a long island in the middle of the Danube in central Budapest. The island is mostly covered by landscape parks and it's a popular recreational area. If you will come to there tonight, you can enjoy such amazing night views of the city. One of the highlights of Margaret Island is its musical fountain. Putting on a dramatic show five times a day, timetable you can find below the video, it's Budapest's version of the famous Bellagio Fountain in Las Vegas. On my way to my hotel, night views of the city were fascinating me, all the time. Every building with its illuminations, they were like works of supreme art. I stared, admired, then again and again I looked at the buildings as if I couldn't believe in such beauty. One another fact about Ungarn. Ungarian is one of the most difficult modern languages to learn. In Hollywood films this language is used as the language of aliens. In Star Wars, for example, aliens speak Ungarian. The Ungarian alphabet consists of 44 letters and the longest word in Hungarian has also 44 letters. This word is Mexentik telenit hetet lenshi geshkedish eiteket, what means because of the constant desire to be incorruptible. If you could repeat this word, please write in comments.
I was taking part in a free walking tour that started from Elizabeth Square and lasted approximately one and a half hours. We were walking on the pest part of the city and I saw there the most significant sightings of the city. The tour guide was amazingly competent, was explaining and answering our questions very professional. Elizabeth Square is the largest green space in downtown Budapest. There is always something going on here day and night. The main attraction is the Danube's fountain in the middle of the square. St. Stephen's Basilica is a Roman Catholic Basilica in Budapest. It's named in honor of Stephen, the first king of Hungary, whose right hand is housed in the reliquary. Today it is the third largest church building in present-day Hungary. It is the largest church in Budapest and a World Heritage Site. Danube Embankment This pedestrian walk stretched along the Danube in Pest part of the city. Outdoor cafes and benches sprawl out next to the hotel fronts, all with ample breathing room around them. There are great views of Castle Hill moving on the other side of the Danube. Sixty pairs of Jewish people's shoes are on the Danube bank, commemoration of the tragedy. The Jewish population is very important for Hungary in economic, cultural and scientific sense. The Jew learned privileges from the king. They could live in a privileged area, have a good job. Jews occupied leadership positions in leading industries. After March 1944, the Nazis began to deport Jews and exterminate them. 400,000 Jews were deported in two months, mostly to Poland at Auschwitz. Why are the shoes on the shore? The Nazis gathered Jews near the shore, they took off their shores and shot them. The bodies ended up in the river. This monument is a reminder. The Nazis bombed Hungarian cities in 1944 as Soviet soldiers approached. The Nazis were in the Buda part on the hills and the Soviet soldiers were coming from the Pest side and at the moment the Nazis were bombing bridges and other city objects. The Soviet Union helped to rebuild Hungary after the end of the war. Fisherman's Bastion in Budapest is one of the top Budapest attractions without a doubt. The present-day lovely lookout towers, decorative fortification of Fisherman's Bastion, were built in the 19th century to serve as a lookout tower for the best panoramic views in Budapest. Quick facts about the Fisherman's Bastion, Budapest. Built in 1902. Looks like the logo of Walt Disney films, only nicer and older. Open all year round, day and night. Entrance free. Seven turrets to represent the seven Hungarian tribes who founded the present day country in 895. Café is on the terrace of the Fisherman's Bastion. Chapel is inside the Fisherman's Bastion. Some more facts about Hungarians. 
Initially, Hungarians lived in the Urals mountains, then moved to Europe. Hungarian achievements Vitamin C, Color TV, 15 Nobel laureates. The largest building in Hungary is the Hungarian Parliament in Budapest. After fisherman's bus turn, I decided to go by foot to the Statue of Liberty. It was quite hard because it was far away and landscape is mountainous. So as I was walking at first down and then up, but it was worth it because the best views of the city were actually there on my way. On my way I also saw a wonderful sculpture, Prince of Buddha and Princess of Pest in the Garden of Philosophers. Prince Buddha and Princess Pest is a sculpture that represents the fusion of two divided cities into one, Buddha Pest. The statue tells actually a beautiful but tragic tale of Prince Buddha and Princess Pest, two lovers divided by the Danube. Liberty Statue. The central statue shows a female figure standing atop a tall pedestal and holding aloft a large palm leaf. The bronze statue rises to a height of 14 meters and symbolizes peace. The monument was originally known as a Libertation Monument in honor of the Soviet soldiers who liberated Budapest in 1945 at the end of the Second World War. After the fall of communism in 1989, most of the Soviet monuments and symbols in Budapest were removed. The Libertation Monument is one of the exceptions, although it was renamed to Liberty Monument. The statue of a soldier holding a Soviet flag that originally completed the composition was however banished to the Memento Park a sculpture park with communist-era statues. Oktoberfest, Germany's biggest beer festival, the Oktoberfest, a long-lasting tradition since 1810 in Budapest. I was lucky to be in Budapest these days and I visited this festival. It was very festive and joyful atmosphere, was really nice. Nagyon 
Heart of Hero Square is without a doubt the Millennium Monument. Erected in 1896 to mark the thousandth anniversary of the founding of Hungary, the 36 meter high column is crowned with the statue of Archangel Gabriel and surrounded by the seven equestrian statues of the Hungarian chiefs. Close to the hero square is a big green throne with castle at the lake, church and many many monuments. Vaidahuniat Castle is a castle in the city park of Budapest. It's a copy of Corvin Castle which is in Romania. It was built in 1896 as a part of millennial exhibition which celebrated the thousands years of Hungary. The Sheni Thermal Bath, one of the largest bath complexes of Europe in Budapest, is also located in this park. Care and cherish your body and your soul. 
Budapest Metro is the world's oldest electrified underground railway system and the second oldest underground railway system with multiply stations after the original steam-powered London Underground. It's very pretty and quite small. There are four metro lines and pretty yellow trains connect different parts of the city. Don't forget, single tickets should be validated, otherwise you can have problems with controllers. Next destination is Buda Castle. To get to the castle you can walk up to the hill starting from the iconic chain bridge, otherwise you can also ride the funicular. Sitting atop Castle Hill and overlooking the river Danube is Buda Castle, a sprawling castle and palatial complex that dates back to the 1700s. Here you will find art and history museums, massive courtyards, churches and chapels, and restaurants. The castle has always had a turbulent history, which reflects the different ups and downs of history of Hungary. Today the castle, which is often called the Royal Palace, one of the most important settings in the city.